friends so in this tutorial we will learn how to create and see databases in mongo so uh, let me just pull up a new tab here so this is a fresh tab and once we write mongo we'll get the mongo shell so it has connected to the mongo servers running behind so we need to see how many databases are there so the simple command is show dbs it would show you all the dbs now how to create a db like the database so uh, there is no create command as such to surprise you but mongo uh, has a philosophy that if you try doing something if it's there it would do on that let's insert or use if it doesn't it would create in simple words if you try to do something it doesn't exist already then it would create it by then so to create a database i see i write use and then let's see the database which is there if, if i say block then it switch to the database block you see db block right now if i say use block demo there is no database with block demo but when we say enter instead of giving us command that no database found blah blah it just switches to this db and while it switches it creates that database so whatever collections or tables we are going to or insert uh, insert data inside this that would go in block demo so let us try to insert a data so to insert the data command is db db means this is a variable db which has some value right now it's like block demo so db dot insert no you have to have a table name so what table name you can see you can take as my table dot insert and it takes the JSON object so any valid JSON object would be good here so let's say the data we are going to punch in is name that's it let's try to do this so it says it has written result inserted successfully now let us check if that table has been inserted because table was not existing there before but the moment we inserted data inside the table it will not only it will create the table first because it was not existing then it would insert the data to check how many tables or collections are there we say show collections so it would say, say my table now mongodb is case sensitive so please make sure that if you say my table and my t capital table these would be two different uh, uh, collections altogether show collection c so uh, in the beginning people do mistake saying no it's the same name no it's the same name but case sensitive so there are two tables and you can figure out the data in one table by db dot my table dot find and you see data inside now mongodb inserts a primary key as id by default for each document so whatever document you see it has the id which is inserted by mongo if you don't provide it if you provide it yes it would take that but it has to be unique so there is some algorithm by which it creates this unique uh, essentially it cannot be duplicated because it's a combination of your process id the timestamp the machine id and a weird combination so if you insert millions of record there is no prob or very less probability of two object id to be same because they would be different for the obvious reason so in this lecture we just learned how to create a database and then also how to create a collection 
because for collection there is no create collection command there is uh, to recap there is no create command to create the database or the collection you just say like use that database name or collection name and mongodb will try to find if it's not there it will create one for you and make sure it's case sensitive so you don't end up having two different stuff because of case sensitivity take care have a nice time